hello family this is annie otter's vlog if today is your first day watching me you are in the right place if you're a returning fan well with a subscriber lover follower thank you so much for coming back i really really love and appreciate you please do not forget to like share and comment on my videos okay so in today's edition i am going to be tackling something very very important something that is eroding the whole nigeria as of today so it is nothing else but kidney failures so if you have been on the news listening even on the internet there have been a tremendous rise in kidney failure in nigeria as of today why is it like this why is it that more and more people are under the attack and influence and destruction of kidney failures? Why so in Nigeria? So we are going to be looking at some facts, okay? So that we'll be, we'll be able to draw some conclusion at the end of this video and how to take care of our ki kidneys better, okay? So kidney failure is a condition where the kidney can no longer work properly, function properly without the help of dialysis or kidney transplant. Okay, that means your kidney has issues. It can no longer filter, work properly. Today, there is a high rise in kidney failure in the Nigerian community, both home and abroad. Okay, as uh, in Africa as a whole, there is a total rise in kidney failure. Why so? And what can we do to prevent this? So, according to Nigerian Association of Nephrologists 2018, it said that Nigerians has 18,000 people that need dialysis yearly. 18,000 people need dialysis yearly in Nigeria. Only 160 nephrologists are in Nigeria. So as of 20, 2020, Nigeria has a population of 206.1 million people living in Nigeria. 206 point one million people living in nigeria and we have only 160 nephrologists so nephrologists are the kidney doctors okay specialized in kidney doctors that are spe that specialize in kidneys so in other words an individual who requires dialysis needs about 400,000 naira on a monthly basis to be able to afford three sessions of dialysis per week because to adequately handle dialysis you have to have it at least three times a week. Some go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and some go Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. So that's three sessions of dialysis per week. So what is dialysis? I know you have heard me mention dialysis, dialysis. You'll be asking yourself, what is dialysis? So dialysis is simply a medical procedure that takes over the function of the kidney that temporarily or sometimes permanently by removing waste product toxins or excessive electrolytes from the blood and water from your body. So that's dialysis. So in other words, you are being placed in machine and there is a central line that is attached to you. Sometimes it goes into the subclavian. Sometimes it goes into your, into your inner thigh, you know, the groin area. So sometimes it goes into your upper arm. You got that fistula. And sometimes it goes into your lower arm, another fistula. So that's how is, these things are being done. Okay. So it has to be done by specialized people, the nephrologists. These are the people who have to put those lines in or the fistulas in they grafted them in for it to be functioning that way so again let's continue on our fact so nigeria has about 140 dialysis centers okay both broken and functional both adequate and inadequate both public and private okay so in this 149 dialysis centers we have about 600 dialysis machines mm -hmm. the entire country of 206.1 million people okay only 600 dialysis machines and only 149 dialysis centers both functional and non-functional so kidney failures are more common in men compared to women okay so and again kidney failures are more progressive in men compared to women if a woman will ever have a kidney failure it is slow but let's look at the common causes of kidney failure in nigeria as of today my number one is high blood pressure hypertension okay so the normal reading for your blood pressure is 120 over 80. if yours is higher than this you need to see your doctor okay for proper diagnosis and treatment as quickly as possible so why is high 
blood, high blood pressure affecting kidney failure. So again, elevated blood pressure increases the pressure on the glomeruli, that's the filtering apparatus in your kidney. It causes to compromise the filtering, so it won't, it won't be filtering as much as it should or as good as it should have been filtering, okay? So over time, the functioning of your kidney declines and over time it deteriorates. That means the toxins, the high electrolytes and the salt and everything else in your body the toxins won't be filtered the way they should filter so this causes your kidney to start failing so another one is diabetes so people who are diabetic are at high risk of kidney failure and what they need to do to make sure they are on the safer side is to make sure that they maintain adequate blood sugar which is 110 depending on where you live okay and what unit of measurement they are using okay so when your body cells can can no longer use the glucose being stored that's in terms of sugar okay in your blood your kidney are forced to work extra hard to filter your blood which leads it to life-threatening damage okay so at that time your kidney will be facing life-threatening damage and this over a period of time will cause kidney failures and that's how diabetes affects kidneys okay then another one is chronic renal nephritis okay that's kidney inflammation kidney infection okay so again you have to make sure you treat every infection you do not attract infection to be very precise treat it promptly and adequately go to your doctor do not do over-the-counter medication okay so that at the end of the day the doctor will make sure that you complete the course of antibiotics as well as testing you to make sure that the uti that's urinary tract infection is totally gone especially in men okay so make sure that you treat every infection std treat it very very promptly and properly to avoid kidney failures so other causes of kidney failures are toxicities that are caused by long time drinking uh-huh of traditional herbal medicine all those concussions okay those can cause you kidney failures because they have so much impurities so much toxins okay that will put pressure on your kidney during filtration okay so other things are exposure to bleaching cream especially this is for the women if you are using bleaching cream you are exposing yourself to kidney failures then another one is high cholesterol if you have high cholesterol please treat yourself promptly stay on your medications and take them as prescribed by your doctor it's not a matter of taking it today and skipping tomorrow or taking it for a couple of days and just totally leaving it or residing into other things that may be um all this herbal concussion again so stay on your medication and take them according to the doctor's prescription then another things are the analgesics you know all these advil motrin all those insects some of them work so hard on your kidneys during filtration and over a period of time if you are abusing those they will ruin your kidney so you need to be careful when you take all those over-the-counter medications another one is drinking of water that is not clean okay so if you are in the countryside where people go to all these dairy streams and rivers to fetch drinking waters all those are not good for your kidney we need to be careful if you have to drink it boil it very well and filter it before you drink it so other things are smoking if you are smoking of any type anything smokable both cigarettes uh crystal meth weed whatever you need to quit all those things and other things are obesity if you are overweight please lose weight you got to lose weight okay that puts pressure on your kidney as well then another thing is um abuse of pesticides you know pollution everywhere we need to be careful either from your generators or from your candles mosquito coil or any other thing just be careful how you breed them then another one is this feminine condition called uh, polycystic kidney disease so all those ones can also amount to kidney failures okay results then another thing is to minimize or avoid maggie consumption 
yes please this maggie we use be it black maggie white maggie yellow maggie or whatever maggie you need to totally avoid maggie cube any of this seasoning that is all over the market has a high sodium level which is very very dangerous to your health please if you can avoid maggie cube be it no seasoning be it a uh, white maggie be it a uh, uh, the royka maggie whatever maggie they have out there if you can avoid it totally avoid it or minimize the use for me, I would totally uh, encourage our people to use a whole lot of crayfish and a whole lot of uh, ogre. That's the and we are going natural. Please make sure that you avoid all these things. So when it comes to Maggi, we should know that Maggi contains this monosodium glutamate. Okay, so this is why this uh, SMG, this is the killer sodium monosodium gl glutamate. This is the kidney sodium in Maggi. And every Maggi product, all these Maggi spicy these, this and that, please, this is a killer sodium. And that's why a lot of Africans are having so much kidney failure from Maggi and Indomie sauce and every sauce that has Maggi written on it. You know, this is business. Those that sell Maggi will tell you, oh, Maggi is good for you. Maggi is this, this, and please, this is business. They are trying to sell they are trying to sell and the same monosodium glaucomite is constant is also contained in coca-cola so if you're doing maggie doing coca-cola doing maggie doing coca-cola just imagine where you're heading to and what can we do to prevent kidney failures what can we do to make sure that our kidney is functioning properly what can we do to help our kidneys to last a lifetime okay so first of all we have to avoid anything that will cause toxicity to our kidneys so if you rewind a little bit you will notice what i have named that will cause toxicity to our kidneys that giving our kidney hard time to function properly you should avoid all these uh, anergestic stop it so traditional concussion is a no 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 bleaching cream will expose you to harmful chemicals that will ruin your kidney then another thing always monitor your blood pressure always monitor monitor and treat every blood pressure accordingly just like i mentioned earlier normal blood pressure is 120 over 80 if yours is creeping higher than that go and see your doctor and get adequate treatment and stay on your medications as ordered it's not you take today you skip tomorrow or you skip next week and other things please take your medications as ordered by your doctor if you need to have any change done go to go back to your doctor and have a one-on-one -on -one discussion another thing please monitor your blood sugar if you are diabetic you have to monitor your blood sugar to make sure that you maintain adequate blood sugar of 110 if you are on medications orally or insulin please take it according to your doctor's prescription okay then another thing please treat every urinary tract infection uti promptly and adequately complete your circle your round prescription of antibiotics according to your doctor do not safe treat yourself that is very very dangerous okay then another thing is to monitor your body weight if you're obese or if you find out that your weight is creeping please work on your diet exercise okay so that you can drop a few pounds do not sit back and start accumulating this weight uh, at the end of the day you find out you're grossly obese then it's harder to lose even if you stay hungry all day it's harder to lose if you let yourself gain all these tons of pounds okay so let's make sure we stay on the positive side every day, exercise and eat healthy, drink plenty of water, okay? So this will help to cleanse your kidney, to filter your kidney frequently, okay? Do not smoke and do not abuse alcohol, okay? So once in a year, go and do kidney function test. Go and see your doctor. Let them run a test on your kidney to see how they are functioning and how uh, you need to improve it, okay? Have one-on-one -on -one discussion with your doctor based on your kidney function test results and save your kidney. Use crayfish, use ogre and make your food. 
all right guys so thank you so much for watching another beautiful edition of annie otter's vlog mm -hmm. i hope we have learned one or two things what we can do to preserve our kidneys to make it last longer okay the only thing we cannot prevent in all this category is aging that is natural okay so as you age your kidney slows down but let it slow down in a healthy way not by you quickening it by doing all these extra extra things okay we need to be very very careful especially if you're a nigerian man be very very careful with your kidney okay take care of your prostate if you're a nigerian man start having prostate exam from the age of 40 45 please you can also go back to my lectures. I have also talked about post-trade. So thank you guys for watching another beautiful edition of Annie Otto's vlog. I love you so much, so much. Do not forget to share, like, and comment on my videos. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.